does the name Nosizi Ruben Dube bring any bells? She's the 21-year-old stateless Shona girl who made headlines last year for becoming the first member of the Shona community in the country to join university. On Wednesday, she was among more than 1,000 Shona girls, boys, men, and even women who received national identity cards, ending a decades-long quest for identification as Kenyan citizens. David Mudoka has the details. Wednesday morning at this venue in Kiambu County. <laughs> Members of little known Shona community could not help themselves from breaking into song and dance in anticipation of a moment that decades ago seemed like a far-fetched dream, but one that will live long in their memories. Having been recognized as Kenya's 45th tribe in December last year, more than 1,000 members of the community that traces its roots to Zimbabwe were finally receiving their national identity cards. <laughs> Among them was 21-year-old Nosizi Ruben Dube, who made headlines last year for being the first Shona person in the country to join university. <laughs> Having defied all odds to make history, she watched and joined her community as well, finally come out of the shadows to earn what has been termed as long overdue recognition as Kenyans. So right now, it's, it, it's a great privilege actually. It's an open up ground for us as a Shona community, at least to do what we wanted to do, but could not because of the statelessness status that we had. Her peers who had hitherto dropped school owing to lack of identity cards and birth certificates have since vowed to follow in her footsteps. Sisi inapanga kuendelea na education of which tumepromisiwa hata kama ni institution ya government tutapewa bursary. Tunaweza tafuta kazi tutapata watoto wetu pia watasoma hawatakuwa kama sisi. Watoto wetu wataweza kusoma na wata Meanwhile, other members of the community, who are among their thousand to receive IDs, could not hide their joy, hoping to have put woes that came with the statelessness tag behind them. For years, accessing health care, education and jobs had been a tall order, one that saw a number of them spend nights in cells while others got deported. <laughs> Sasa sasa najivunia maana niko mkenya mkenya aswa na fry sana and while the focus shifts to the rest of the Shonas living in the country and who are yet to receive documentation, the community that has more than 3,500 members hopes that the government will hasten the recognition process. I also have a responsibility as a public official to make sure that it's not every Tom, Dick and Harry who want to settle here who said to Zia because some of those people don't have good intentions. Mm. I have deported quite a number of people recently uh, who have attempted to get some of our documents uh, fraudulently and I have asked my colleagues at the Ministry of Interior that we will clean up ruthlessly. <laughs> They woke up stateless, but they sleep as fully recognized Kenyans. Today marks a fresh start for a community that has for years reeled under the shackles of identity limbo and have had to deal with the harsh consequences that come with it. David Mudoka, TV 47, 